On this episode of Joe Exotic, Tigers, Lies, and Cover-Up. The outrageous story of Joe Exotic spreads like wildfire around the globe. You know, I, I stood here at this computer for four hours today doing nothing but answering emails from Bulgaria, Belgium, Scotland, Ireland, everywhere around the world. I never dreamed this many people would be this interested in this story. Search continues for Don's body. His ex-wife and children keep pressing for answers. What made this cold case particularly fascinating was that Don Lewis's family came forward and said, we're frustrated. We need help. Nobody's done anything. And now Don's family is springing into action. I'm Serena Fazan in Tampa at the River Hills Church of God. Today, a major update from the family of Don Lewis. They are filing this lawsuit, a pure bill of discovery in hopes of answers 23 years after Don Lewis vanished. It's about information. And so literally we're suing for information. And some might say, well, why do you have to sue for information, right? Why do you have to get, get the court system involved? And it's because somebody doesn't have to provide information unless a judge tells them to. And so we're basically invoking the power of the court to make sure we can take depositions, send out subpoenas, get document requests and all of that to see what there is to be seen, what happened to Don Lewis. Don's family alleges they were cheated out of his $7 million estate, especially since there's now evidence his will and power of attorney were forged. My experience, education, and training tells me to the highest degree of probability that I can go to that the signatures on the will and the signature on the power of attorney were traced and the marriage record signature was the model signature from which it was traced. Obviously, this was used in the civil aspect of things, which awarded her all the finances. Carol's the one that ended up inheriting most of his assets, uh, his $6 million, his, uh, the mortgages, the uh, $50,000 per month income, from what I understand. Not long after, Carol Baskin files a motion to dismiss the Lewis family lawsuit. 23 years later, people are still accusing me of killing my husband. You just can't imagine how emotional, and I can feel myself getting worked up even saying this, how emotional that is to have people think something so horrific about me. There's no way I wouldn't have an emotional response to that. Even if Carol blocks the lawsuit, the Lewis family isn't done fighting. This bull has two horns. Don Lewis's family has been looking for closure for 23 years, and an anonymous donor even offering a $100,000 reward. There are billboards all over the Bay Area. I'm finally glad that you know Don's family is, is finally maybe going to get some answers out of this. On August 15, 2020, the family held a memorial service in memory of Don Lewis. I decided to pay my respects to Don Lewis on the 23rd anniversary of his disappearance. Losing a parent is difficult, but losing a parent without knowing what's happened to them, with no funeral, to share grief amongst friends, with no gravesite to visit, has at times been overwhelming over the last 23 years. I hope Don's kids truly get to know the truth. I hope they have an arrest and I hope that that's some closure to them. But you can never replace a person. To remember the man most of you called Dawn, but I called Daddy. Everything is just, it's unknown. And when you have an unknown, people want an answer. People speculate. And I think we will find an answer because I think that time usually heals wounds. It usually solves mysteries. He was only 59 years old. When he was declared missing, we're all older than that now. 
I don't think a damn thing's gonna happen until somebody stubs their toe and needs to get out of jail free card. And then somebody will squeal. At this point, this is about finding somebody that killed a friend. I would love to see the person or persons that were involved in this convicted and punished and the kids to get closure about what happened to their dad. Everyone in their life deserves to have someone who loves them without conditions, without judgment. That someone is me, Daddy. In my eyes, you always were, and you always will be my hero. I have a lot of hope for the family that they get closure and they get justice. Not only do they need it, they deserve it, but I think there's enough people out there looking for it now. And with the current attorney that they have, plus reward, um, I think it's gonna turn into something where there will be some sort of closure coming very soon.